I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 20th of August. Pure tropical air covers the state. In fact, we've got a little uh, nocturnal flare-up of uh, showers across this part of Alabama early this morning. So let's take a look out the window with the SkyCam Network. View there coming from the campus of the University of Montevallo, where, by golly, it's been raining this morning. In fact, at my place in uh, Shelby County, heard uh, some pretty heavy rain falling about 4 o'clock. So I was getting ready to get up here and do this. You can see those wet roads out on Highway 280. These images captured around 5 o'clock this morning. Mount Chihaw, what a great place to be in August. Always cooler up there. The high there yesterday, 82. Nice. And they did have some uh, rain, big thunderstorms uh, blowing up uh, over East Alabama last night. Uh, there's the uh, water vapor shot, and you know the deal. The prime uh, organized activity with the westerlies away to the north, and down here just this old soupy air with light winds aloft. And there's the radar at uh, 5.06, and look at that. The, I, I put the Maxwell Air Force Base radar here so you can see the rain better. Uh, Utah, Greensboro. Look at the heavy rain falling down there southeast of Tuscaloosa uh, on the Tuscaloosa-Bibb County line. And then on the Birmingham Metro, it's raining. Uh, heavy rain falling in St. Clair County uh, down there below uh, Chula Vista and Pell City. So a lot of folks are waking up to rain in that zone. And again, that's a reminder that you can see these middle-of-the-night flare-ups with this old tropical system broadly hanging around. Here's the storm totals, by the way, coming off the uh, uh, Maxwell radar. And uh, some of the heaviest rain uh, last night was down there just below Sylacauga, about three inches of rain based on estimates, some flash flooding issues where Coosa, Clay, and Talladega counties all come together. And heavier rain during the blow-up overnight over in uh, Greene County in West Alabama. So always something going on in terms of rain. Uh, organized severe weather risk today. Wichita up to Marquette, Michigan. And tomorrow, low-end probabilities clipping northwest Alabama, running from Dallas up to uh, Cleveland and Detroit. And the QPF chart, uh, still some pretty good rains over the next five days on a cumulative basis. Every day, rainfall distribution will vary tremendously from neighborhood to neighborhood, but uh, this is valid through Tuesday evening of next week, suggesting one to two inches of rain. And we all know some folks can get that in just one hour with these tropical showers and QPF charts got a max down there in the waters of the Gulf. And speaking of the tropics, uh, the Hurricane Center identifies a couple of suspect areas. One way moving into Central America, so that's not going to develop. The other one is the, the one to watch: that deep uh, wave in the uh, or the wave in the deep eastern Atlantic, south of the Cape Verde Islands. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that. It seems like the door is open for some growth in coming days, and that's where. The big ones can come from this time of the year. We'll check the OZGFS at 1 o'clock today at 500 millibars. Yeah, you know what that look is. At least the heights are on over 594 this time. 588 ridge down below that. Uh, evidence of drier air over the Tennessee Valley, and that was the case yesterday. And uh, moist air elsewhere. And obviously with it raining this morning, it's moist. So again, you know the deal. Scattered pockets of tropical showers and storms and a few heavy downpours. Tomorrow, things just don't change. Same deal. Sun at times, showers and storms around. And Sunday, the exact same thing. Highs, low 90s more than likely, maybe mid-90s in spots. And there could be a few spots with upper 80s where the rain begins early in the day. Tuscaloosa broke their long string of 90-degree days yesterday where the high was 89. But Birmingham at 93, the sun broke out for a while. So the string is alive 46 days in a row with a high of 90 or hotter. That's nasty. There's Monday, 594 Ridge off to the uh, west. Down below that, still moist. Tuesday, no change. Wednesday of next week, here much drier north of us, but it's just not getting down here, and that's what you expect in August. And there's Thursday, troughing developing over the northeast United States, and will that push any dry air down here? It tries, but I don't know. I think persistence is the best forecast, and a week from today, eh, maritime tropical air. Muggy, scattered showers and storms. Note in the far right, some kind of tropical mischief. And then the next day, Saturday the 28th, uh, some kind of tropical system is recurving into the Atlantic, way east of the east coast of the United States. 
Could this be the way that's off the uh, coast of Africa now? Could be. Um, you know, we've seen some runs earlier this week that tried to move that into the East Coast. The last couple of days, it's been recurving over the open water. Of course, nobody knows at this point, but obviously the GFS is trying to tell us something is going to go on out there. And the next day, that's moving north up the north to the North Atlantic. Into the forecast, September 4th, big trough over the Pacific Northwest, flat 588 ridge, soupy air, still muggy, scattered showers and storms. You know that deal. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.